Tonight we're focusing in on Zoom with Galaxy AI on the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Ah, a baby tiger. Check out his claws as he prepares to pounce on that frog. Close one, but not as close as this Zoom. We can literally count the whiskers and... Oh look, Mum's here. Good thing I'm nowhere nearby. Go wild with Galaxy AI on the new S24 Ultra and zoom in on the epic day or night. Get yours now at Samsung.com. This episode is brought to you by Paramount Plus. Ewan McGregor stars as Count Alexander Rostov in A Gentleman in Moscow, the new limited series based on the best selling novel. Stream it with the Paramount Plus with Showtime plan. Visit ParamountPlus.com to try it free. Dice Man Enterprises exclusively presents a talk show that will get to the bottom of things once and for all. And now here's your host for Let's Get to the Bottom of That, a bunch of weirdos on a mic. What's up, my conspiracy nuts? Welcome into another episode of Let's Get to the Bottom of That. I'm your host, Byron Dice. And today we have a special treat for you. Probably you haven't guessed that we're going to do this one, but it has uh, probably been a long time coming. Everybody thinks that we should have done this one a long time ago, but we haven't. But anyway, we're going to talk about Stonehenge. Why is Stonehenge? Where is Stonehenge? What is Stonehenge? And... Who is Stonehenge? When? When is Stonehenge? So, we're going to get into it. Like I said, uh, I'm Byron Dice. I want to welcome into the program also (laughs) my lovely co-host, Susan Dice. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Of course, we're missing uh, uh, some other weirdos. We're just a bunch of weirdos today, so... Um, we just got off the heels of a, a live stream, which was kind of awkward, I think. You're always awkward. Um, because it was just, I'm just not used to it. And, you know, it was a, a lot of, is it working? Is it not working? I tried to have people call in. They didn't. It doesn't what matter. This is Sunday afternoon. Y- you know what? People are <laughs> People are not sitting around waiting for us to go live. They're not. That's just it. That's just the what? reality, right? Uh, but um, are I we think... on video right now? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I can switch over to you. Yeah, right there. Well, I mean, I the want you is... change shirts. Well, yeah. But What's not, happening not here? Not because. Not because. What's going on? I just wanted to get comfortable. It's my church shirt. Number one. Number two. Why does this camera have to look into my soul? Well, does it come... look into your soul? Does come, it really? How come yours is? That, yours is like backed off and mine's like Dish. that's not true have you seen the the yeah no mine is like hey can you get that bottle out of my shot there oh, what the heck is I'm that so sorry <laughs> road dad um so sorry anyway, i'm not used to the camera i'm not either well this is um th- this is a new uh addition to our show here we've added cameras uh this is gonna be this is going to be the shot here that, that the other weirdo is going to sit at here. Nobody's here today, but uh, this is your shot, and then uh, this is mine, of course. So I'm sure nobody cares. Um, this will go out on Spotify, the video itself, and then any on other Spotify. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a video on Spotify. Yeah, if you <laughs> upload the video portion of your podcast, you can play the video. And then what it does is it takes the audio portion of your video and it pushes that really? por- oh you just lost me at- what are you no. talking about you needed Can to you know not because just say yes or no i said <laughs> i'm explaining how I, you Pete don't need to explain josh it. ray listens on apple will he see the video no on youtube no he listens on apple oh okay how is he gonna do that you just he's ex- gonna hear the audio portion of the video it still pushes the audio out to the other platforms right right of course well, you didn't know that oh, okay Anyway, wow. hello, my conspiracy nuts. You're listening to Let's Get to the Bottom of That, probably the best show on the internet, where each week I'm joined by a bunch of weirdos and we cover a topic that's been left out in the public square, unattended and covered with questions with the official story. Okay. Now, yeah, today. All this is new to me because, like, seriously, I'm not a podcast person. Is that bad? 
What I do don't mean? listen. Like, I've literally never listened to the show. <laughs> Well, of course you hadn't. You're not a fan. I've never. Well, I've I've listened to the show periodically, but I don't listen to the show because I'm in the show. Right. Well, I did the show. But I've never been in the show until, you know, recently. And I I, I, I don't listen to the show. I've tried, but it's so, no, I'm just kidding. I haven't even tried. I'm a YouTube person. If I can watch a video, like, I'll now start watching the show. We've been on YouTube since the beginning. Yeah, but it's a listening thing. I need visual. Are you? Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait a minute. So here, so, okay, so we're going deep dive on the show. Sorry, because my wife's now on the show, and we could talk about things that are deeper than just Jason and Joey, because I can't speak about those things with him. But this. Why? Be, well, because this is personal. I know that you sit at your desk and listen to things. YouTube, you don't watch YouTube. YouTube's going with a visual, but you listen to it because you're doing your work. You don't sit there and you're not just watching the screen, so you listen. But there's always an opportunity for me to look at the screen. Like for I will, what? It's just talking heads. Well, I'll look over and see. I don't know. I'm just saying. Mostly I don't, um, I'm not a podcast. I don't listen to podcasts. Oh, okay, a podcast. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Sorry if that offends people. Well, so, so well, why should people listen to this then? Well, some people, people are different. People like stuff. People listen to this. Yeah. But I, you don't. I'll start watching it now. Start with, yeah, because you're in it. No, not because, no, that would make me not want to watch it. Oh, no. Well, you're in it now. Yeah, that makes me not want to watch it. Uh, before we get into the show today, as you've probably, you've clicked on the title already, so you know it's about Stonehenge, so I'm not going to try to, oh, I've got something else to, to go over. So, let me, trying to get it right here. Um. I wanted to go over some of the uh, some of the uh, polls that I've put out on our show on Spotify. There's a poll under the under the show, and there's a question. Uh, you can you can put comments. Um, I wanted to the the Kurt Cobain that poll. Nineteen percent of our listeners think that Kurt killed himself. Eighty one percent say no. Mm. So I just wanted to update people on the poll. So there is a poll out. Um, below our show, if you're listening on the Spotify mobile app. Matter of fact, I think you can see it on, I don't know if you can see it on the web, whatever. Uh, also, the Nephilim, this poll is closed, but I thought it was interesting that the question was, do you believe Nephilim are still among us? 77% of our listeners said yes, 22% said no. So that poll's out there. So the reason I mentioned the polls is because going forward, uh, instead of putting random questions on the poll about the show, I'm going to start with this new, I got a game called Conspiracy Theory, okay? And I'm going to take these questions out, and I think it's, I think it's interesting. These are going to be the poll questions, okay? And they've got different, uh, they've got different uh, categories like schemes, mythos, tech, UFOs. So today, so question of the day. I'll give you the answer next week, but th this is the poll. So when you hear this, you can scroll right below the episode that you're listening on and answer this question. Okay. Here's the question of the day. What creature is associated with the collapse of silver bridge in West Virginia? That's the question of the day. Now, of course you can scroll down and read this question. It'll be there. So it's a, the Mothman, B Bigfoot, C, the Appalachian Troll, or D, the Wendigo? That's A. It's Mothman. Well, if you think so. We'll see what the listeners think. Okay. But uh, I dare you to try to answer that. How many people is going to Google that? Of course. I mean, <laughs> Don't Google it. That's the question cheaters, of the day. My conspiracy Google, nuts. That's the question. That's going to be in the poll right below. And then I'll give you the answer next week along with. And then I'll just start intro on the show with a new poll every week, the question of the day. And then I'll give you the answer for last week. So I'm ready to go there. So that's exciting. Also, um, today we're going to be talking about. What's the meaning of Stonehenge? It's killing me that no one knows why it was built 5,000 years ago. Why did they build the stone? So high, completely without the technology. We 
All I think about is Stonehenge. And if you don't know, what? Those are the guys that did what did the fox say? Yelvis. Yeah. What's the purpose of Stonehenge? These are the questions. So I thought that was fitting. Yeah, I thought that was fitting today. So uh, to you know get us into the the mood. I like them. They're so funny. Yeah, it's called Yelvis. Stonehenge. Um, and they really tell the story. Yeah. They're 25,000 tons of stone. They could have just literally listened to that song and then they wouldn't have to that's listen pr- to That's the true. Song. If you go listen to the song and not listen to the rest of uh, our episode. What's the deal with stone? What's the deal? What's the deal with stone? Anyway, uh, we're talking about Stonehenge, but guess what? There are numerous sites of circle hinges with stones in the UK. And also Scotland. I don't know if you looked this up, but I did. There's a ring of broad, Broadgar. That's that's what it's called. Oh wait. Yeah, I would give all I had a Would you give me your car? Of course I would have. Drive a Civic. Drive a Civic. Just so crazy. You can trust it. Let's talk about the hand, yeah. It's kind of got it's a, a stone hand, it's a stone hand. It's kind of got like a queen vibe there. What's the meaning of stone hand? Yeah. Are you going to get striked for that? What's the meaning of Stonehenge? Probably. Uh-huh. But, you know, at this point, I don't care. Oh, uh, you know, you don't get striked. You only get striked if you... Talk about things you shouldn't talk about. So what's the other thing? You just don't get monetized. <laughs> but what's the other thing when you listen to, you play music that you shouldn't? Oh, well, there's a, it's called a copyright strike. It was like it's a strike. But, huh? No, no. It, it's sometimes if it's a strike, it's the user has said, hey, don't, you can't play that. Take it off. Take the video down. But most cases they go, hey, you know what? You're demonetized. You can use that, but whatever. You're okay. not, you're not going to get paid. Uh, but anyway, the ring of Broad, Broadgar and also the stones of Stennis, that's on the Isle of Orkney in Scotland. You know, there's a crazy amount of, of stone circles. Yes. Crazy amount. I mean, yeah, we're looking it up. It's, it's just stone circles. Why the stones and why the circles? And, and why is Stonehenge so popular? And by the way, w- when I was... A kid, I thought it was Stonehenge. Hedge? Yeah. Like a hedge of bushes? Well, yeah. Yeah, like, like a hedge. that cat in here, my gosh. What the heck? Like a hedge of bushes. Like it was a hedge. Like a stone hedge, yeah. yeah. But it's not, it's a hinge. Right. And they looked it up, there's a there's a circle around the stones that somebody built up with the with the dirt. Yeah. Like, and makes a hinge. Mm. Like a door hinge. Mm. Yeah. I don't think that's why they didn't need that. But anyway. I think so, but. Did you look at it because the circle, the yeah, circle around it? I did. And there's some of them. There's other ones that are, sh- are hinges too, but the most most of them are just circular, yeah, stone just, circles. Yeah, just stones. What's I mean seriously? What is the deal with I, the circle? With well, stones? I okay. Let's go through it and see. Let's go. Let's go. So here's some mysteries. Uh, so let's just go over the the introduction. Stonehenge is a prehistoric monument found in Wiltshire, Wilt. Shire, England, from the English, um, has been long fascinated. It's long. Jeez. Who can, who can, what's the deal with Byron? Why can't he read? Anyway, um, it has long fascinated historians, archaeologists, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, um, uh, um, what am I doing here? The best way to get something done, if you, if it holds near and dear to you, that you uh, um, like to be able to. Right, you could be know, president, like, babe. You would fit I right could. in. Um, archaeologist, mm-hmm. those guys that build uh, were actually digging Arcs. the dirt. <laughs> digging the dirt. 
Uh, the origins and purpose of this structure continue to be a subject of debate, making it one of the most enigmatic landmarks. I say, I don't care. Enigmatic? Um, so here's, here's the location. It's in Salisbury Plain of Wiltshire in southwestern England. It's about uh, eight miles north of Salisbury, which that makes a good steak, by the way. Right. Salisbury steak. Uh, it's approximately 90 miles west of London. It's remote. It's very scenic as a local, you know, it's very scenic. It's, uh, it adds to the mystique of the site, drawing millions of visitors each year who come and marvel at its imposing presence. Now, people have speculated, and I don't know how they do this, but they think that it was built around 5,000 years ago. Okay. Okay. So I don't I don't know how they date that, but that's when they said uh, it was built. I think they said it was built before men built the wheel or invented the wheel. The wheel hadn't even been invented yet. See, I have a problem with all of that. Do tell. I, I have a problem with, you know, and, and I'm not the historian. I don't know a lot of things, but like when I read the Bible and I know like the Bible was more than 6,000 years ago, right? Okay. So I don't find it very difficult to believe that people could have got together, a group of people got together and built stuff like that. Because You mean the Stonehenge? Right, because think of the Tower of Babel, right? Yeah, huge, huge so, tower. So that was, I don't know, I just, I look at the different eras, like the Stone Age, because that's when Stonehenge was built, right, in the Stone Age? I don't know, about 5,000 years ago. Maybe it'll mention in in these notes. I don't know. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. I mean, I don't know. I mean, here's the deal. It, it consists of several uh, concentric rings of standing stones, the largest of which are like 30 feet high. So you have 30 feet, and they weigh like 25 tons. Um, so people like look at it and go, this is a remarkable feat of engineering. Who did this? Well, how did it get here? Uh, especially because the primitive tools they didn't have. Like, you know, where's the wheel? They had to have had a wheel. And some of the stones I'm going to talk about were transported from Mulberry Downs, like 20 miles away. They call it blue stones. Oh, the blue ones, yeah. yeah. Do they look blue? Yeah, they got a little blue tint on them. Okay. Actually, a little blue covering. But the, the purpose is a matter of speculation. So some theories suggest that it was a place of healing or as a memorial to the dead while others believed it was a celestial observatory, like used to predict ellipses and other, you know, astronomical events. Um, the seasons. So, yeah, so its alignment with midsummer sunrise and the midwinter sunset also indicates that it's like a, a sacred, sacred place that they could do seasonal rituals and stuff like that. Well, I think there's one rock that the sun shines on on the summer solstice and there's a rock that the sun shines on on the winter solstice are you serious yeah there's one particular rock that yeah the longest day of the year and the shortest day of the year all right uh scratch my ear i was itching there sorry about that um, um well so for centuries historians they puzzled over it so nobody really knows see some say it was like 1500 years to erect it all took these things. 1,500 years for them to build it. Yeah. To just erect the stones. So here's, here, so we got these mounts. So the blue, okay. So if you get a picture of this, you've got the, you've got the stones, the big, the outside circle. Those are those big, tall monolith stones. That are erect. Yeah. They call them, um, oh, what do they call them? I had it in my notes. Standing stones. It's close. It starts with an S. Can't remember. I have to look at my gotta look at my notes now and I can't find it. I hate when I can't find stuff. Anyway, those stones have act an actual um a a ball on the top. <clears throat> and this the stone that fits on top of it actually fits on it. So it was designed 
Oh, it's also a T, doesn't it? The two, the I know what you're talking about. Yeah, who knows? It's like a Lego. Yeah, it's got this. It's got a ball, and it, it like hinges on it. Hinge. So you get these the 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 that that circle came from like twenty miles away. Those big tall ones from a mountain range twenty miles away, and then you got the the ones that fit on the top of it. So the, it was designed in a circle, and then in the middle. There's like a horseshoe of smaller stones. It's like a horseshoe. Those are the blue stones. And uh, you can tell from looking at it what it used to be in its glory. Because it's it's symmetrical. It's not like because the stones are down, you're like, oh, I don't know if it really did that. You can tell there were stones because you can see the, the holes in the ground where something was there. And some of the stones are actually sinking into the ground. They fall and they're getting into the ground. And they're saying even today... Like, who knows how, how long it's going to last. So if you want to see it like it is now, you need to hurry up and go visit it. Well, Because they're they, sinking. Didn't they used to have it to where you could walk up to it, and now it's, like, gated off, like... Are you serious? Yeah, they have a fence around Actually, it. Actually, in that, that video by Yilvis, it was fenced off. But I've seen people, I've watched videos doing the research for this. and Well, they probably And I showed special. people walking up. Well, it's probably... They Back have, in the 50s, they actually did some reconstruction on it. So there's a whole myth, there's a whole uh, controversy, conspiracy that it wasn't built 5,000 years ago. They did it in the 50s because they were doing reconstruction on it to make it not fall down. So nobody saw it before the 50s. That's what they're saying. I don't believe it. I don't know. Okay, uh, let's see. So what did oh, they, they do also, with the stones also, that fell? They also found, uh, well, some of them are there. Do they, they carry them they've off? Fallen. No, they, they actually reinforced the stones that are standing there now. But, I mean, they like, made some kind of plat, but the ones that have fallen, they didn't raise them back up. They just left them in the dirt. Wherever it fell, they okay. left it standing. Dude, I wouldn't want to be there if one of them fell. Was a meal with a meat? Okay. Uh, let's see. It's in southern England. It's comprised of uh, roughly 100 massive upright stones placed in a circular layout. Um, also, they say it was a burial ground, too, because they have found skeletons around the Stonehenge. They have found bodies doesn't mean it was a burial ground well sure it does somebody could have just died there no they found more than one okay like like it's a graveyard so it's like a a graveyard and it's a tombstone Mm. the pizza or the the city (sighs) no neither are you talking about oh you talking about the monument people died so they have a tombstone isn't that what it's called yes well i think that's what it's called but I thought it was a headstone. A tombstone. A tombstone is the city where, oh my gosh, where the OK Corral is, right? Or is it the pizza? What's the deal? <clears throat> anyway, um, so here we go. Listen, uh, it was once a burial ground. Some believe they have determined what other they have yet to determine what other purposes it served. See, even without modern technology, even the wheel, they didn't have the wheel back. They said. So, so I, I, you know, I have, I find it hard to believe. I just don't feel like that there was ever, man was just dumb, like, like man that was created on this earth. So where are the, the where are these people? And I'm probably opening up a can of worms, but where are these people time. that are like cavemen that are just dumb? Like so, where Adam, are they at? Yeah, Adam and Eve. They were, pro- we progressed. From where? From the dumbness. We're not dumb anymore. We've advanced. Well, Adam and Eve were the first people that was ever born, and I just don't... They're not uh, cavemen. Who, Adam and Eve? Yeah. Oh, it didn't start out that way. It started off smart, advanced, and then it went dumb. I don't believe that. It went all dumb. Think about Noah. Yeah, think about That's what I'm saying. He got on the ark. He built... Everybody was dumb. An ark. He didn't know how to build a computer. No, but he built an ark. Well, sure, because he had help. He had instructions. I mean, so where are these dumb cave people? Well, they're not around. We've advanced. You can't, you don't have dumb, you just can't, dumb people don't stay dumb. They. You don't have this other society over here that's, hey, we're smarter than you, but the dumb people are still here. So you think we had Adam and Eve that was smart and perfect and knew everything, and, and then came dumb cave people? From yes. their yeah, after, after Noah, after the flood. I just, I don't know. People didn't know what they were doing anymore. I just find that hard to believe. 
Really? Yeah, I think, I mean, I just, I don't feel like anybody was ever that dumb, ugga booga, where they couldn't see that a log that fell was circular and you could roll stuff on it. <laughs> like, you know, like uh, the Flintstones car. So, <laughs> so you're saying that, what, do you, are you saying there was a point where there wasn't a, a wheel or it shouldn't have been? I don't think that there was ever that. There, do you think there was always a wheel? Yes. What? And fire. <laughs> yeah, I just don't feel like. I think people lost it. I don't. I think they lost the ability. I don't think so. You mean after Noah? And yeah. There, and there was nobody on the earth. Yeah, it's like like you said before. If well, if everybody died and I was the my family was the only one, we're dumb. We'd be in trouble. We're not going to make it. I mean, we'll make it, but you you're going to have people that don't know what a wheel is coming not after. Not me. a wheel. <laughs> I mean, yes, an advanced computer or flying car, but not a wheel. Yeah, that is strange. Well, why the wheel? How yeah. did how did you not see that thing roll like yeah. that and, and figure out? Hey, I could probably move something on that. Yeah, I just don't feel like there was. You don't ever... think they were there? No. You think everybody was exactly like we are today? Of course not. Not like we are today. I think there was an advanced. You know, people were very very advanced before Noah, and he was like an Amish dude. Yeah, but he knew. I mean, he Cart built and a buggy. flipping ark. Yeah. yeah. I mean, think about it. There's always, like, chariots. How long have chariots been around? Well, we know that... Well, the Roman Coliseum. Elijah, <clears throat> well, that was built... Oh, the chariot, right. It, <clears throat> yeah. So, was the chariot that came down on fire, was it wheels or was it just fire? Oh, I mean, I'm sure. <sighs> it, it, That's it interesting to think about. And the cart that, you know, David rolled the um, Ark of the Covenant Well, sure, there's on. wheels, right? Right. Is there wheels in the Bible? Yes. In the middle of the wheel. <laughs> he has the wheel in the middle of the wheel. Right. See, it tells you right there. I know. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah. well, this is talking about 5,000 years ago. There was no wheel. See, it was. So who in the said Bible, that? there was a wheel. Yeah, where, are they, where are they getting this information from? I don't know. Who are these people? I, I don't know. I mean, maybe we should I'm be wrong. On a, we should be on a committee. Well, I'm not smart enough for a committee. Well. Anyway, I'm sorry. Stonehenge. Where did well, I go with that? Well, I mean, here's the deal. So, where did I go? Where'd I go wrong here? It's construction is more baffling <clears throat> because while all the stand, all the sandstone slabs of the outer ring, sandstones, hail from a local quarry, scientists have traced the blue stones, which makes up the inner ring, all the way to the Priscilla Hills in Wales, 200 miles away mm -hmm. from where Stonehenge sits on Salisbury Plain. How the heck did you get those stones from Priscilla Hills to Whale? Uh, I mean, to uh, Salisbury Plain? I was watching something. How do you do that? I was watching something, and there was a dude that had, like, this these logs. They built these logs, like a little roller system, and they put a really, really heavy rock on the little roller system he had and the they had a group of elementary children oh yeah i saw that one that pulled the rock i mean if you have a group of people dude you can do of, anything i mean come on and what did they have to do back then hey let's let's build this rock circle all right i mean i'm not doing anything I mean, they weren't doing anything. Yeah, I don't have to catch a episode of They weren't of watching Friends. shows, right. right? They're not sitting around. Yeah, they're like, like, hey. how come we're not going off and building a Stonehenge today? Right. Why? Or maybe we are. We just call it something else. Well, we call it skyscrapers. Well, other people do. Yeah, skyscraper. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. See how long? So, does hey, it let's take go to build. build a, a, oh, it takes years. Yeah, but just years to build something that big. I'm just oh, saying, dude. Um. Okay, so today, nearly one million people will visit Stonehenge. Um, it U N E S C O World Heritage Site since 1986. Okay, <clears throat> I don't know what that means. They believe that uh, it was over 5,000 years ago. I don't, see. I don't know where they get these uh, these dates. First, Neolithic Britons. That's what they go. <laughs> Neolithic Britons used primitive tools, possibly made from deer antlers. To dig a massive circular ditch on a bank or a hinge 
on Salisbury Plain. Neolithic is yeah, Neolithic the, is the end of the Stone Age. Yeah. Okay. So they, they built, um, f- made from deer antlers to dig a massive circular ditch or a bank or a hinge. So that's what that is around it on Salisbury Plain. Deep pits dating back to that era and, and located within the circle known as Aubrey Holes after John Aubrey, the 17th century antiquarian who discovered them may have once held a ring of timber post, according to some scholars. A ring of timber post. And it says here, did you know in 1620, George Villers, the first Duke of Buckingham, dug a large hole in the ground at the center of Stonehenge looking for buried treasure. Hmm, That makes sense. So obviously he thought some buried treasure was there. That makes sense. Um... See, we're thinking these days, during the third phase of the construction, how do they know this is the third phase, which took place around 2000 B.C.? Sarsen, that was it. That was the name of it, those those stones, Sarsen stones. Okay. Those are the slabs. They were arranged to the outer crescent ring, and they were assembled into the iconic three-piece structures called triathlons. Trilophathons. Trilophathons. Got <laughs> Here, say this Nailed right, it. right here. Trilthons. Trilthons that stand tall in the center of Stonehenge. Some 50 sarsen stones are now visible on the site, which may have once contained many more of those kind of stones. Okay, here we go. Right, they're doing radiocarbon dating. That's what they're doing. Which, Radiocarbon dating would suggest that work continued at Stonehenge until roughly 1600 BC. Are you telling me that it took that long to build this thing? Well, I guess so. Like you said, they're not sitting around watching shows. Uh, well, I, I so think here's people the, don't know here's anything. Here's the thing. Here, <laughs> so here's here's what here's what I know. Um, they took. Here's the th- the theory. They took, and this is the most plausible one, the blue stones that was from the Priscilla Hills, 200 miles away in Wales, they took it by boat. They took the stones. Matter of fact, uh, the documentary I watched showed the fir- there was a, a first stone hinge found near the Priscilla Hills. This archaeologist uh, found a circle where stones were placed. He found the dig out. The dig out? The holes that were the, mm-hmm. that the stones were put in, and it it looked exactly like Stonehenge. So this was the original. Now, for some reason, they took it two hundred miles away to the Salisbury Plain, but the Blue Rocks they took by boat on the well, river. That's a theory because they it well, could... that is, it it makes more sense because you took it by boat all the way around, and then you had a little bit of land to go over when you got the stones to land instead of two hundred miles of land to travel. That doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, they're not watching shows, so what else you got to do? I don't know. That's um, a that's a theory. They don't know for sure how it was. Well, yeah, I mean, because there's there's there. tons of theories. Like I you mean, said, the school kids, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the school kids taking the uh, the things. Well, it could be giants. Well, that's. I mean, I was going to say that at the end. I'm oh, sorry. Matter of fact, if you want to go ahead and we'll just go to the end. Here's the theories. The theories, and then we'll go back and talk about whatever. The theories are aliens. That's the first theory, that they had technology to beam a beam, like a tractor beam from Star Trek, and just... You're not... You can't get it. I can't. You don't have it. (laughs) Got it. I don't know. You got a whistle and blow Um, Aliens use their technology to move the stones and put them in place and actually erect them like they want to do. Like 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 dominoes, like how you build with dominoes. They were yeah. like, hey, let's just yeah. That's that's one theory. The ne- the other theory, which is very plausible to me, is giants. We're the playing Nephilim. with blocks. The Nephilim showed the people, hey, you know what? And maybe I don't know if giants were uh I don't know if they were stupid and dumb and they just worked for people and they were slaves Mm. or did they build this and go, Hey, here's how you do 
here's how you're going to look at the celestial. To me, I, it, to me, when I look at it, it looks like a clock. Yeah. Like they did it to to gauge what season, what time of the season it was. Based on the shadows, it's going to hit the ground. But why? Does that make sense? Well, you don't know. Yeah. You but you you know you, who knows. You gotta have. You gotta know what time it is. It's not, so maybe it's just, yeah, like like you said, seasons not really like a sundial. But I mean, like you can look oh, at like the trees sun. and the weather and go, oh god, it's cold. It's well, winter. maybe it was for real ritualistic uh, things then. Or tombstones. Yeah. Okay. So giants built it. That makes mm-hmm. that makes sense because they could lift a uh, heavy object like this and then put the stones where they wanted them. Uh. And to me, also, when I look at the hinge, I envision that this was built for protection because it's a circle, and this is like an encampment for people that lived. Or maybe it was a center of a, a, a society, and this was like the, the, the town hall. This was like the mayor's like office. Like a big gazebo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and like Yilvis said, that's it, where they have it, their band. That's what Yilvis said. It, it's it's made for the the best escape jail made. You could just escape out of it. <clears throat> anyway, it's like a big gazebo. Where I you think have your of it because meeting. the hinge. It reminds me of a place of protection because when you look at it, there's a there's a road that goes into the the front of it, and then it hinges around like there's an opening. That this is the this is how I walk into this place. I think it was, I think, that's what I think. There's also, and this is the biggest one, Merlin. Right. Remember him? Yeah. From King Arthur? Mm-hmm. Did his little uh, wine. He, he had magic. Yeah, he was a wizard. And that's that's the theory that the English go with, is is Merlin had something to do with building this, this monolithic thing. And then the last one is just a team of, team of a large group of people. So that's where I go. That's where <laughs> that's, I lean. That's the theory there. That's, um, I'd lean that way. Um, well, I'll just read. I don't know how much we're going to get into, but Stonehenge today is one of the most famous and recognizable sites in the world. It draws more than 800,000 tourists a year, many of whom also visit the region's numerous other Neolithic and Bronze Age marvels, which they're all over the place. I saw this one thing where this these they had rows of stones just standing up. Like maybe that was the thing to do back then. Hey, Did, let's stand some rocks up. Look, when I googled and looked up um Stonehenge. Yeah. I said, you know, what are other stone circles? There is a crap ton of them. They're all over. Like the Isle of Blue. Oh, wait. There was one. Hold on. I don't what about know. The Easter you... Island. We need to do a show on that one, too. Well, I thought you did already. That's why no, I was going to mention that. But... So, um, have you ever heard of Long Meg and her daughters? No. That, that, there's, it's 69 stones. And it's like one of the most like popular next to Stonehenge. Yeah, the name, it's called Long Meg and Her Daughters. Long Meg. Long Meg. And we don't know why Meg or her daughters. It's um, just named that. Rolling Right Stones in Cotsworld World. See, I, I can't even, I have no idea. Cotsworld? England, yeah. Um, Avebury Hinge. There's, See, there's, there's another hinge. I think it's, I'm telling you, I think it's villages. Well, it's too small to be a village. Well, I'm, no, I'm saying it was the center of a community. Oh, this like is, the gazebo, like yes. the town gazebo that you I'm see saying this is where we meet. Maybe they had other stuff around it, like a tent. Oh, okay. Like fabric. Gotcha. Maybe it was covered. You don't know. You know oh. what I'm saying? Maybe they covered it up and it was like this huge thing. And it was like, because there is one way to walk in. And the cloth blew off and. Well, yeah, I mean, it tattered. They they moved on. Yeah. Kind of like our grill cover is tattered. I don't know if you noticed that, but there's a No, cut. that's not a grill cover. That's the I mean, uh, that's cover of the fire pit. The, yeah, the fire pit cover. is It's a goner. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, I'm very upset because it's only like, what, a year old? Yeah. Well, two maybe years two old. years old. Yeah. Well, you know how they make that stuff. Yeah, so the stone hinge covered goes tattered and got torn. That's what I think. It looks like it was the center of a community. Gotcha. Okay. Because there is a road that goes in. There's a hinge, kind of like a protection thing. Maybe that was a, a guard place. Maybe they 
maybe these were people that were out on the plains that didn't have a castle. And they saw how castles were built, and they put a moat around a castle, and they were visualizing, you know what? But to to bring, see, then you're like, why am I bringing, the, why the blue stones 200 miles to away? To make it pretty. <laughs> or maybe they, maybe they were like, oh, we like your stones. We want to add that to our gazebo. Or maybe because that guy found the first one, the original Stonehenge over there by where the blue rocks were. And they were like, you know what? This place is so special. Let's go down to the plains because we're getting eaten by coyotes here. Let's go down to the plains near the water and let's take some of these blue stones because they, they have magic in them. But it's definitely a European thing because I don't think there's any stone circles outside. I mean, I know there's an Australia, but I in think it's, it, it came from all like European. It's like the, the, the stone thing. Hey, let's do stones. Why is there anybody alive that remembers raising up a stone, putting it in dirt? Well, because it's 3,000 years ago. No, what I'm saying is, wouldn't you have passed that information down to your children? Oh, yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Wouldn't you have? Yeah. Hey. Why is this so, it's such a mystery? Because maybe it wasn't a big deal. Maybe it wasn't that big of a deal. Everybody had them, you know? Oh, Let's go over to Grandma's Stonehenge. Yeah. She's got a hinge over there. Well, all these different cities in the area, like it, like you said, in Scotland and Ireland. Yeah, there was, there, there. I don't know the deal with raising stones. Something they thought was magical about putting stones, erecting them up. Maybe it uh, warded off evil spirits or something. Yeah, so in Europe, <clears> you got your stones, and in, like, Egypt, you got your sand your pyramids, pyramids and yeah. stuff. Yeah, they don't have like stones to erect in in Egypt. But I mean, you don't see any of them in America. No. Let's talk about the stones that we did see in uh in Kansas. Oh, at Monument Rock? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's you can explain that. Yeah, those are natural, but yeah, it's that, really those, cool. Those are eroded by wind. Those are really, really cool, and it's something that you've I've never heard of until I moved here. Here's the thing: when you look at that, when you look at that monument rock, was that whole place elevated like that, and then the wind slowly got to the ground where you were, and that's the only thing that's standing? I don't know, but how come they couldn't just like cut it down and make it like the stones that is there at Stonehenge? <laughs> What do you mean? Like Monument Rock? So Monument Rock, for anybody that doesn't know and hasn't Googled before now, it is in the middle of nowhere cow pasture. Like we went on a trip to Colorado and we were driving to Colorado and we were like, hey, here's an exit for Monument Rocks. We get off the exit. We drive down the road and then you turn onto a dirt road. It's a yeah. literal it's little dirt, dirt road. road. <clears throat> there was no other traffic. And it, this was like close to the end of the day because it was getting close to sunset And all you see time. out there is oil uh, rigs. Well, we <clears throat> don't know if that's oil or like water pumps. It's like little pump things. Yeah, you see a yeah. little pump like, a, like Texas. There's no other cars there. There's no car going there. There was no car coming there. It, it was like literal, like cows can walk across in front of your dirt road. When we got there, there was nobody there. It was very eerily quiet. There was no one there. Yeah. In the middle of a cow field. It was beautiful. It was at, I, I imagine at night when it's dark, it's very, very beautiful. Like you could probably see the sky like stars that you've never seen in your life. Probably. Because it's really <clears throat> pretty. So Google it. Look at it. It's very pretty. But it's just rocks. In the middle, they're flat as all get out Kansas. And then these rocks. And then you got this huge monolith. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. Where'd those come from? I mean, it's just I, there. Why? Why? I think it was part of a mountain range. It just got eroded away. The whole entire, I mean, well, then why well, are they? It has they? to be. I don't know. Hey, I got some more information on uh, Merlin. <clears throat> Okay. You want to show the, the special? Um, oh, look at there. Little grandbaby on the show. 
So hi, Jovi. You're you're uh you're fresh to the show now. You're part of the show. What's up? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. hi. She just woke up. Um. Anyway, <clears throat> okay. Let me let me tell you some more about Merlin. According to 12th century writer Jeffrey of Monmouth, that's a mouthful, Monmouth, whose tale of King Arthur and the mytho- mythical account of English history were considered factual well into the Middle Ages. So the King Arthur, Knights of the Round Table, Merlin, all that was considered factual around the Middle Ages. You got me? Right. Stonehenge is the handiwork of the wizard Merlin. In the mid-5th century, the story goes, hundreds of British nobles were slaughtered by the Saxons and buried on Salisbury Plain, hoping to erect a memorial to his fallen subjects. King Ambrosia sent an army to Ireland to retrieve a stone circle known as the Giant's Ring, which ancient giants had built from magical African bluestones. Well, it's not African blue stones. The soldiers successfully defeated the Irish but failed to move the stones, so Merlin used his sorcery to spirit them across the sea and arrange them above the mass grave. Legend has it that Ambrosia and his brother Uther, King Arthur's father, (laughs) are buried there as well. While many believe Monmouth's account to be the true story of Stonehenge's creation for centuries, the monument's construction predates Merlin, or at least the real-life figures who are said to inspire him by several thousand years earlier. Other hypotheses attributed the building to the Saxons, the Danes, the Romans, the Greeks, and the Egyptians. I like that theory, the Merlin theory. Really? And I like the way he spirited them across the sea. And I, and so you were right. So that was it. That was a tombstone. Right. That he there was a mass grave and he erected the tombstone. I like the I like your theory. Which is the hey, this is our middle of the town. Let's I, all get together it here looks and like, like that. have a party. I think it's I think it's the the village because you see a lot of them across uh across what is it Eastern Europe? Europe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You see a bunch of them. So why wouldn't societies or small communities build this thing and this is the center of the town? Yeah. Like the town hall. I this like, is where I the like ma- this theory. is where the governor lives or whatever they call them. Well, maybe not lived. It's like Well, I'm, because I think you could set up shop there. Of course you could live there. But you know like on the shows you see people have like the little you know guy, the governor, not the governor, but the mayor of the town. Yeah. He has a little speaker, and he has a little band behind him playing, and everybody dun, 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 comes dun, 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 up. And, yeah. That, I like that theory. I think that's a good theory. Yeah. Because if you look at it, and I I encourage our listeners to go watch some videos and look at the Stonehenge, you can see there's a ro- the path that goes to it, and then it circles around like the hinge, and you see the stones. That's all I got on Stonehenge. Those are my theories. Did we get to the bottom? I don't think we got to the bottom. Well, I think we got to the bottom of we don't know what the heck we're talking about. What do you think? I think it's really cool to dig into stuff. I'd like to visit Stonehenge. Yeah, I would too. Maybe we'll do a live. We could do a live. I want to do a European trip. And then we can see all those hinges. And go to the Isle of Man. Look, Isle of Man, the person that's there, hook us up. Thank you. We, let's go on a trip. I don't know if we'll it's one visit. or two listeners, but Isle of Man is on our map now as one of the countries that started listening to our show. Yeah. Thank you. The Isle of Lewis actually has a circular, not, stone, not a hinge. I wonder if the Isle of Man has a hinge. Let us know. Okay. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Um... I'm gonna just I'm just gonna tell you it, so we're ending the show so that's enough about Stonehenge I don't think we got to the bottom of nothing but except my theories about it's a it's a small local mayor's house for a community <clears throat> make sure you visit our website www.bottomofthat.com check out our blog for all our show notes and resource material from there you can find our social media platforms like Instagram Facebook and X if you're listening on YouTube Rumble and Bitshoot 
and you like this episode, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, which is a like, share this video, subscribe, and also leave a comment and let us know. If you're listening on any other podcasting platform, make sure you turn on the click on the follow button and you turn on notifications so you always get notified when we publish an episode. Now, uh, don't forget the question of the day is going to be out on the poll below this below this podcast. What creature is associated with the collapse of the Silver Bridge in West Virginia? The Mothman, Bigfoot, the Appalachian Troll, or the Wendigo? Make sure you go, and I'll give you the answer next week. Now, used to, I would, I'm, I'm going to start ending the show different. I would say, you know, tune in next week, and I'm you might so hear glad. Susan say blah. Now, instead of ending the show that way, I'm just going to end it with around the table of final thoughts. That's how I'm going to end the show now. So it could be anything. It could be, you know, what are you cooking next week or final thoughts of this show. So give me your final thoughts. Can you go first? No, I'll always end it. (sighs) Final thoughts. Do some research. Can I have just a final saying? Not really a thought. I don't know. Maybe it is a thought. Is that going to take you longer than 45 seconds? Do, Do research. Get knowledge. Go delve into this, because I think it's really cool. Once delving into it, I don't remember all of it, but it's really cool to learn new stuff about all the different circular things. Good deal. That's a good final thought. My final thought is, if you find yourself in the bathroom without toilet paper, make sure you always have socks on. <laughs>